All right, question number four. Hi, I've been following the channel now for a few weeks. Just got my copy of your book. I have a book on web design. You can check it up on Amazon for total beginners. I was wondering your experience learning self-taught. I'm in my 30s looking to change to coding from a nice six-figure salary, but not great work environment culture. Have a family to support, so I can't take too much of a step back. What is your advice on self-taught and changing to this new industry with people who depend on you? Thanks, uh, thank you, and appreciate all the awesome content. Ah, so anybody who follows my channel for a while knows the answer already. Uh, the answer is you want to transition from career A to B. You want to transition from one to the other, especially since you have a family to support. You don't want to make the mistake of, of cutting off your income stream, your current job, and hoping to get the new one up and running very quickly. You have to, like any other career, you have to build that up. So what I would do is I would continue to learn to code on the side. Um, I would suggest taking either my, my standalone uh, web stack course, which is interactive and uh, gamified and uh, grades you, gives you instant help. It's pretty comprehensive. Or... If you want to really get the full Uncle Steph experience, you can check out my mentoring program at UncleSteph.com. It's self-paced. You learn on, at your pace. Uh, you get the feedback and input from me, live support, etc. So yeah, I would transition from your current job to the next thing. So slowly, as I say, 20 minutes a day minimum, four hours a day max, four to five days a week. So you get home from work. Uh, you put your kids to bed, you do that 20 minutes, and if you're tired, that's it, you've done your 20 minutes, you're pushing the ball forward, so you slowly develop the skills, then you do, once you have some basic skills in, in the web stack is my suggestion, then you go out, you do two to three small little free projects or very low paid projects on the side, again, on the side, keeping your full time job, so you can build up some, build up some real world skills, start to get a feel for the whole coding development world so you can figure out what's good for you. See, some people may like, they may love Python Django development. Or some other people may say, no, no, I make a ton of money doing PHP Laravel. Other people say, no, I just like installing WordPress and Shopify sites and I make bang big bucks from that. So you have to figure out what's good for you. Uh, you can make a lot of money with all these different technologies. People will tell you, ah, you can't make money with PHP. Yes, there's a lot of low-paying PHP jobs, but there's also very high-paying PHP jobs. And there's a lot of freelancers making huge money with PHP and WordPress. They just know how to structure themselves properly. So step number one, try to be consistent. 20 minutes a day, minimum four to five days a week. Start writing that code. Every day, write a little bit of code. You want to develop what I call the nerd eyes, the ability to see the coding world, to understand it so you can start making uh, good decisions about where you want to go in terms of the technologies you want to implement. And then once you got, you're comfortable with that, then you start reaching out, networking, start talking to people, and do a couple little side gigs. Start building up some skills. And then when you're at that point, you'll be in a much better position position to judge about how you're going to make the final transition from your current job to the freelance. So let's, so let's say as a scenario, you start freelancing, you pick up a couple of little clients, two or three clients, all of a sudden it's coming to the point where the clients are taking up a lot of time and you can't do your job full time, but the clients are not making you enough money to replace your six-figure salary. Maybe your clients are making you 30 grand a year. So maybe what you could do is uh, you could talk to your current job. Maybe they give you a four-day week work week. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can find some compromise with them in that regards. So you're still in your 30s, which is quite young. So it means you're full of energy. Uh, what you could do is just you know burn the candle at both ends for a short period of time, meaning work hard, get that freelance business up and running, and very importantly, uh, Build up some emergency money, FU money, six months to a year minimum. This way, you don't have to worry about your six-figure salary. But you just want to transition from career A to B, so you, you go in there smooth. Now, I'm just using freelance as an example. The freelancing gigs could lead to a full-time position. 
If you do get offered a full-time position as you follow these steps, make sure that the uh, job is secure. Make sure the company is secure. Don't make the mistake of maybe going to work for a uh, startup. Startups fail all the time, trust me. So uh, just make sure that's, uh, that's cool. So yeah, take your time, enjoy the process. A little every day goes a long way. And yeah, just transition to a new career. Thank you.